weekly update for, um, what's it going to be, April 17th. This is April 16th, uh, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just uh, icing the wrist, which uh, I've been doing for uh, twice a day for the last, uh, last couple of weeks. It's a gel pack that's, uh, you put it in the fridge, and it gets really, really cold, and then you put it in the, the Velcro wrap and wrap it around your wrist, and don't leave it on there too long, you get frostbite. But uh, a good, uh, good 10 minutes twice a day, and it's definitely helping the wrist. Um, we got a couple of still photos of um, the uh, first two post-February 27th drawings that I've done of Cerebus. One in a uh, High Society Gold logo for John Funk. Uh, that was the second one. And the first one was for George Peter Gatzis in his copy of uh, High Society uh, Gold logo edition, which uh, it's my first chance to look through them, and they look really good. I know uh, uh, Sean's not 100% happy, but then uh, Sean's been living microscopically close to this book for way too long, so uh, uh, there's always room for improvement, but hey, best, best high society yet. Still working on figuring out how to uh, minimize my workload and work more intelligently. Uh, still looking at the uh, Service Covers book in raw form, and here's a good example of uh, what's going on. Here's the, the last page that uh, IDW has mocked up, uh, only as far as the cover of 155. So I've specified when I've got a complete book when it's uh, all 300 covers, or uh, as many covers as we've got, we're still missing covers. Um, as soon as it's, uh, all of the pages are accounted for, then I'll do my, my part of the book. Uh, but I'm still going through it pretty much on, uh, on a daily basis. Over here, they've got uh, Cerebus. How are we doing it? Sandy, can you see the... The two covers there, the two Cerebus covers. Okay, one of them's the uh, authentic Cerebus number one, and one's the counterfeit number one. Very good idea putting that in with, uh, with the cover to number one. But we're going to do an extreme close up of the little tiny figure here, which uh, is really the best way to tell the counterfeit from uh, the real number one. And coincidentally, Sean Robinson has. Uh, both a real number one and my copy of the counterfeit right now, so uh, he'll be able to do a bang up job on that. And putting that down there, uh, in roughly the same category, very nice phone message, uh, get well soon phone message from uh, uh, Drew Ford at uh, Dover Publications, the Dover Publications and uh, asking when I will be doing the uh, forward to uh, the Puma Blues book and how badly does uh, um, this affect that. And uh, same deal. I've got from Stephen Murphy, uh, wrapped in plastic, with apologies to David Lynch, uh, the original run of the Puma Blues, uh, all stripped copies, but right from Puma Blues number one to, I believe, number 21. And then he also sent me the script, the ending, almost done, it says on it. But with this, almost done doesn't count anymore. So I'm holding out. I, I, haven't, I haven't even read the script. It's like it's very, very tempting. It's 36 pages of additional material, and I definitely want to see how the story ends. But I'm holding out for Michael Zoli's pages. When Michael Zoli is done drawing all of the, uh, the ending, the additional 36 pages on the Puma Blues, when I get that in the mail, we will definitely figure out how to do a forward, probably um, 
me uh, talking into a, a dictation machine of some kind and Sandeep transcribing it. You've been transcribing your Malcolm X book for so long. You, you, <laughs> if there's anything you're good at right now, it's learning how to pause and play and pause and play and type in between. Uh, but yeah, same deal as the covers book. When I've got the finished Puma Blues and uh, Really happy to have this as an artifact, by the way, in the service archive, the script and raw materials. Uh, that's when I'll be doing the forward. And all good things come in threes, right? So the third thing, of course, is uh, Oliver Cerebus movie, Cerebus Fractured Destiny. And uh, I've told him the same thing. We're going back to the original agreement, which was a completely finished film is what I want to see from him. No, uh, no loose ends, uh, nothing unfinished, and then uh, that's when I'll jump in on Cerebus Fractured Destiny. I would like to be working on an ongoing basis, and, but uh, once again, this, this is in the way. So um, we'll show you a couple of seconds here, but we're only going to show you a couple of seconds. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, I'm torturing everybody, but there you go. Um, it's, uh, I, I, if I'm going to get uh, The Strange Death of Alex Raymond done, it's going to be a lengthy process. First of all, getting the hand back into shape. Uh, I think I've proven to myself with the high society uh, drawings that I did for John and George that, um, that's going to be possible. Autographing, autographing is definitely possible. Relearning how to ink um, in the, the photo illustration style that I've been using, that's kind of an open question. The, further, the longer I'm away from it, the longer it's going to take me to, uh, to get into it. And uh, that's really what, where I want to be putting in most of my time. Uh, once I'm done with the uh, uh, the primary rehabil rehabilitation period, which is, uh, I've definitely given the, the physiotherapist, you've got eight weeks, eight weeks of Dave Sim not doing anything with his right hand, but what you tell him to do. And uh, that'll be over at the end of uh, May, and then uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see where we're going from there. So yeah, still very hopeful that someday I'll be back there inking up a storm at, uh, at the drawing board, but uh, until then, you're going to be hearing way too much about this, and uh, that's the end of the update, because I'm going to get this off before I get frostbite. See you all next week.